Hey guys, good morning. Sassy goes home today, so I just want to give her owners um, a couple of tips. Um, you know, sure, I'm sure it's a little nerve wracking when dogs come home, right? Um, and so there's there's so much that we covered in our go home sessions. There's so much information on, on the um, the uh, go home instructions that I like for it to be s simple. Um, and so what you can do is. First of all, you guys are a great team. You know, you've got Cora there, she's doing great. Um, you both are awesome with her. So you have a great team of people surrounding Sassy. You're all in different ways gonna work with her and hold her accountable. Um, some of the most important things, those little tiny, seems like minutia, but believe it or not, the minutia, if we focus on that, nothing ever becomes a big problem. So, Definitely print out the, the instructions, review them periodically, keep the commands handy so that everyone's using the same, same commands. Um, and mostly the things that she will, uh, like she tests boundaries just constantly. Just know Sassy is gonna test your boundaries. So um, the biggest things that you will do is at thresholds, and when I say threshold, I mean coming out of the crate, coming out of the cars, oh my God, a big thing. Um, going out of the house. Um, I want you to have her in a sit before you go through a threshold. Um, and you know, coming out of car, make sure she's tethered in. Uh, so she can't just, she'll, she will try and, she tried to steamroll me the other day when we got to pet, we went to Petco. She tried to steamroll me out of the car. I, I had to like physically block her um, and I made her do a down. I was like, we're not going anywhere until you settle yourself down because you know, that's why I demand calm in the car because if she were amped up before we even got there, she's a big girl, she's strong. There's no way anyone could control that. So um, she's gotta be calm uh, on command and that goes for the car too. No steam rolling out the car um, or anywhere else. So it's just when, when she's got the prong collar on, it's pressure straight up. Remember, prong collar pressure straight up will make her drop her butt to the floor. Um, if she can't like she hears the command, but she's too excited to like, you know, understand it She's pressure. It's, it's straight up. No nonsense. Don't wait her out like boom You're gonna drop into a sit when I say sit It means immediately drop your butt to the floor and the more that you are on her with those little things the thresholds and the sits um, And if you come to a stop when you're walking make her sit immediately. I mean immediately um and that way it'll just become like rapid fire. When you stop, she'll know, oh, I better sit or I'm gonna get that prong collar correction straight up in the air and that's no fun. So be all over the small minutia things, right? Um, and she'll, she's gonna get really good at them. So later I'll post a, a little video of us. I had Elisa out yesterday, she's my helper. Um, she did a great job, Sassy walked really nice for her. She did try and challenge her. Um, but we, we were on Main Street where there's a ton of traffic, lots of distractions, and two people walked by and they said hi to her and she immediately popped up. And so you'll see, um, you know, uh, Elisa getting her back into a down. And just remember, um, that might not seem like a big deal, but believe me, thresholds and sit when I come to a stop are huge. And she just sometimes, her excitability, she needs a little help. So be all over that. Um, you want to make sure when you're walking her that she walks nicely and is respectful of you on the leash. And remember, the e-collar on walks is your friend. The prong collar is like the power steering, but the e-collar really, at, you're going to be at a level. Never, never look at the number. Just look at her behavior. So just do a quarter turn up, and if she gets ahead of you, you're going to hit and turn. So it's like tap the red button and turn. She should move with you fluidly. Um, if she continues walking the other way, then you know like you weren't high enough. So just bump it up. Um, I like her slightly behind me. Why? Because then there is zero tension on my shoulder and I don't have any pain in my shoulder then because I don't want my shoulder to be throbbing when I, when I get home after a walk. Um, and what I'm really looking for when I'm walking a dog is, I, hey, is my dog still there? And I look down and she's, oh yeah, she's slightly behind me. She's there, she didn't get away. And that's when you know the walk is really, um, you're firing on all cylinders for the walk. 
Um, the other thing I want you to be on point with is the crating. So have the first couple days she comes home, just have her drag a leash. Um, and if she gives you any pushback, she's got the e-collar on, so you just say, you pair the command with um, the e-collar. So it's sassy come, sassy kennel up, or you don't have to say her name, just be like kennel up. And then, you know, hit the button. If she gives you any pushback, you just dial up, dial up if, as needed um, to make her follow through. Um, and, you know, she should get the hang of things relatively quickly. Just remember to introduce her to place a couple, like do that same routine where when I first came over, I brought Tassie, we went from place to place, reacclimate her to, oh, these are the two spots I hang on, not the couch, so like she's gonna try and get on the couch. And then just clip her on a back tie, um, and then you'll, you'll know when it's time for you to not need the back tie, and she's just gonna basically lie down and do her work that's her work while you do your thing um, and that is what's cultivating the off switch uh, and you always want to be doing that with her um, it's it's a tremendous help she's a different dog now um, she's not like out of her mind huffing and puffing and the world's not moving at supersonic uh, speed hi whoever's there good morning um, she she's absolutely um, doing really good work and it's only going to get better so I listed a few things for you. You can always refer back to this video or put it on a three by five card. And these are the little baby things that we need to work on. Um, and just, you know, make sure that you focus on those. Um, and the girls are getting their, today is her go home day. So um, I stuffed a Kong with her kibble. This is mostly kibble. And then I topped it off with some, uh, I just use bland diet food from a can, just a little schmear. I'm gonna freeze this up. And both the girls are going to be able to work on that, have a little fun today. That'll make them nice and tired. And you can do that for her in her crate. Um, when you leave uh, tomorrow, um, make sure you kennel her up long before you leave. That she, make sure she's calm in the crate. Um, and when you're not home, the collars are off in the crate. Um, and just, you know, leave her at least with a bone, like a Nyla bone, just one bone. Um, and you can give her a Kong like that if you want. Just something to work on. But then when you come home, Collars are on, take her for a walk, let her decompress, um, and then put her on place. Or you can play, if you want to play a little ball with her before you put her on place, absolutely knock yourself out. Um, remember the structured play, work in the commands, um, put that long line on her and just toss the ball for her, let her have a blast. Um, it's a great way for her to blow off some steam. I think we're actually going to do that today. Today is kind of like um, a nice, I'm going to trim her nails today, I'm going to let her play some ball. Um, we'll absolutely be, in, be doing a ton of place, um, you know, building uh, the off switch, but um, that's pretty much what we'll do. We'll do a walk, we'll do a, a pack walk with my guys today on a long line, which was really fun for her. We did that yesterday too. So a little pack walking. Um, that's it. I um, just show you everybody real quick. There she is. She's doing, she's such a sweetheart. She's doing awesome. And here's the little girl. So, okay guys, happy Friday. I'll be on again soon with more information. See ya.